Every morning as you walk in the office, you might see Dr. Woodruff helping out with phones. Tom Woodruff shows up here every morning, uh, answers the phone, um, answers questions with students, and he's a great help here in the morning and at lunchtime. I often ask uh, Brenda what she would do uh, without me helping her every day. And she says, well, I don't know, but I sure would like to find out. <laughs> Some mornings it's extremely busy and, you know, the phone is ringing and parents are coming in. He's a lot of help. Some mornings there's not much going on. He sits around and we talk. So, And same thing at lunchtime. Some days it's really busy. Some days it's not. It just depends on the day. But as some of you may not know, our very own Dr. Tom Woodruff was a baseball coach here at Rogers High School. Well, not any, not in my wildest dreams would have I really thought I would ever have been a high school baseball coach because that wasn't uh, my original intent in, in going into teaching. Uh, but the opportunity uh, arose uh, back in 1990 when we uh, began the baseball program after several, about 30 years of not having it. And... Um, uh, the uh, coach Nicholas had the job initially for one year, and uh, and then he um, decided not to coach anymore. And so, uh, and then I started coaching in 1990. Our very young coach Melson was given the opportunity to play for Tom Woodruff during high school. I really enjoyed playing uh, for for Coach Woodruff. I played for him whenever I was a um, ten year old all the way up to whenever I was I graduated from high school and he was a lot of fun to play, play for but a very demanding coach. I learned a lot from him. As of right now, Dr. Woodruff is being inducted into the 2014 Sports Hall of Fame along with six other people. This has been Kate Farmer for RHS TV, signing off.